Hello and welcome to my Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about data structures. We are going to talk about DS lists and DS maps. So let's begin with DS list. What is a DS list? DS list is a data structure that stores information sequently as it's added. It's like a one dimensional array. DS lists are very flexible data structures that permit you to add values at the end or insert them somewhere in the middle of the list. As well, they give you the ability to shuffle the order. I mean, this means you randomize the values, or you can as well sort them in ascending or descending order. So we are going to make a simple example of how this list works. Let's create an object and call a create event inside. Let's create our this list named people. So the function this list create actually initializes and creates the list. So we will add several people to our list. This list add people John this list add people and this list add people Jack. Okay, so now we have our list of people. What can we do with this list? We could uh, shuffle the order, we could sort it from the ascending or descending order, but mostly we will want to learn what uh, the main point of this list is. So you have a clear example here. We only can insert a name, I mean only one value inside of the list. But the DS maps are kind of a bit different. So how do DS maps work? They work like in a way that that you can store a key and a certain value to this key. And later you can add the map to a list. So it's like easier to be queried. So how this works? What is a DS map? Okay, we already told it. So let's make a DS map named John. And now we can add more information to John, like name and a name is John. DS map at John H31. DS map at John surname. Tucker. Okay, so we have added those values to John, but now, as I've said, we want to add this value to our list. So we will delete those, and after we will add John, we will add John to people. People, John. Okay, so. Now we will check what's the size of the list. And if our value has been successfully added. Sorry, we need a room to run. Like that. Okay, one. So yeah, that's actually there is actually data inside but for easier adding to this list we can call a script and name it add person so we've set var variable name equals to argument zero variable h equals to argument one and variable surname oh it will look more logically like that Okay, so uh, we can go back and copy this code and just change it a bit. Variable person, so this will only be called inside the script person equals to DS map create name person equals to name and surname 
is surname and h is h so we need to add uh, our person to the database so the person is now added now we can call the script a bit easier way add person john docker 31 add person Anna uh, Novak 28 add person Jack Reaper 99 okay so now we have added our people to the list but what if we want the specific information from this list so uh, we need to query we need to check what information we'd like to check. We want the age from John. So this works that way. We query through the list in which contains the maps that you have added and check for each if it contains the information that you have provided like name or surname if you want the age or surname and age if you want name or name and age if you want the surname and stuff like that i think i think you get what i mean variable person we can call it person map equals to ds list find value uh people e var person name equals to ds map find value person map name of course we need to first uh, check the value of the current index we are currently in and check if that name matches John that we have provided and now finally variable h equals to ds map find value person map h show message the h of We could call it a bit simpler. Person's name equals John. It will look a bit better. You can change the name and check for any age after that. You will see that it works. Age of plus drink name plus is plus string h and that is it yep let's run our script and see if it works like we wanted uh john Variable John is not set before reading it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, yes, of course. This is a clear, a clear, uh, small mess. Uh, you need to replace. Uh, the co if you have copied the code, you'll want to replace uh, John with the person because, yeah, of course, it doesn't work that way. So, age of John is undefined. What about now? Um, let's see. 
if person's name equals the player's name h how about this i'm not sure if uh, age of john is undefined course sorry about that i'm making i'm making clearly uppercase and lowercase letter mistakes yeah age of john is 31 and that's how it works uh, we can also check for age of emma age of anna is 28 And age of Jack yeah age of Jack is 99 yep this works pretty much fine so thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something today and keep yourself motivated and use game maker as much as you can thanks bye bye